Hey guys, tuning in just about a minute early, so hopefully some of y'all can get hooked on here. How's it going? Um, getting ready for, oh, did I just turn you around? How did I just do that? Oh, y'all know I'm not great at technology. <laughs> Those of y'all who were on my Zoom Zumba yesterday um, were helping me test drive that, so um, excited for the workout today. It's one I've done before um, that I really liked. So it's kind of a pyramid. Um, we've got three minutes of strength, two minutes of cardio, one minute of rest, and then we'll go back through it. Um, kind of like a, a pyramid back through it. We'll do the cardio and then the strength. And then we've got three rounds like that and should be a great workout. The last time I did it, it was awesome. Um, make sure you have some water. Make sure you have some music. Um, available for you. I am going to be listening to, let me see if I can pull it up um, to show you guys. I love Rock My Run playlist. I'm going to try out this Latin Heat 2021 or 2021 um, playlist. So um, see how that one goes. You will need um, some weights. Whatever weights you have will work. Um, the beginning, we can use more medium weights. Um, and towards the second and third set, you can use some lighter weights if you've got an assortment. Um, if you want a mat for push-ups, you will need that for your knees. Um, and then some kind of raised surface, um, step or stairs. Um, and if you don't have one, that's fine. We can always um, modify anything. Hey, Sophia. Hi, Jamie. So, all right, let me get hooked up here. Feel free to let me know if you're working out with me or you're just checking in to say hi. Hopefully you're working out with me. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell y'all. Please make sure you do everything at your own pace. If something is too intense or too hard, please take it down. If something is too easy, please take it up. Um, y'all know with this little kettlebell in front of me, I have to take it down a little bit more than I would like to. So. Just remember that if I'm taking it easy, that doesn't mean you have to, you can for sure, but um, you do not have to. And I totally forgot to put my little belly band on, so y'all get to watch me do that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and warm up and turn some jams on real quick for me. <laughs> remember, I don't play any um, music out loud on these because of copyright issues and I don't want them to take down my video because that has happened before. Um, just background music will, they'll shut it down. So I do not want to do that. Um, all right. Make sure you start whatever watch workout you're doing. I usually set it for, uh, high intensity interval. Move my mat out of the way. All right. Let's grab that knee and pull up to the chest. Ooh, my range of motion is a little bit limited these days. <laughs> Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Just checking in. All right, let's grab behind, knee pointing straight down. Before I forget, I'm gonna do not disturb for one hour. There we go, that way I don't forget to turn it back off. Do not disturb. So I won't be doing any core today as usual. Um, eventually, in a couple months, if I'm still doing this, let's do some squats. I will be adding core back in once I can physically do it. Remember, anytime you are doing a squat, weights in the heels, knees behind the toes, chest stays up. Good work. All right, let's do some hurdle walks or leg lifts because we're doing them in place up and over that invisible hurdle. Look at me even starting really close to on time today. All right, let's do the other side. All right, let's do some glutes. So grab ankle and knee, hopefully you can hold your balance. Gently pull up, You're stretching out the back side of that bent leg. If you need to hold on to something for balance, Feel free, you don't have to hold the stretch for very long. The goal is to get a moving and active stretch so the blood gets to those muscles. It's just hard for me to grab right now. <laughs> Good, keep going, keep going. Do me a couple more, a couple more. Then we're gonna take it to some reverse lunges. 
Stepping back behind. It is a beautiful morning here, nice and cool. If I could take it outside, I would. But I got Mickey Mouse in the background upstairs. <laughs> All right, let's start adding a little cardio and so let's just take it to high knees. We go, pick those knees up tabletop. All right, get those arms pumping, nothing crazy. We're not trying to spike our heart rate yet. We're just trying to get moving. So pick those knees up. I know I'm having a hard time. Whew. Run like this to get them up. Good, in just a second, we'll take it to some butt kickers. I'll turn sideways so you can see. Literally kicking yourself in the high knee. Swinging those arms up and down. In that whole body. All right, we're gonna do some side shuffle work. So just scoot over a little bit, couple shuffles to one side. Couple shuffles to the other. And if you want, you can get a little bit lower. Activate those legs a little bit more. Whoop. Don't trip on your furniture. <laughs> How long have we been going? We need a little bit longer, a little bit longer. All right, whatever room you have, we're gonna karaoke. So in front, behind, in front. All right, a little bit of hip action here. A little bit of coordination, a little bit of brain work, especially earlier in the morning. Most coordination we'll use all day, or all morning, all hour. I don't think this one will take a full hour. The working time is about 33 minutes for the workout. And then if you wanted to add some core to it, you can do that afterwards, plus the warm up and stretch. So it should take us maybe 45, 50 minutes. All right, let's see. Let's take it to some side lunges. Remember, same as with a squat. When you do a side lunge, your weight is back in your heel, your knee stays behind the toe, chest stays up. We got just over 30 seconds left to keep warming up. We're gonna take it to some hamstring kicks in just a second. Let's see, all right, hamstring kick. So remember, when you kick, you wanna kick straight forward. Your hand windmills across, but everything else stays straight forward. Hey, Sarah, hope you're getting the workout in this morning, girl. I'm just finishing the warm up right here. So remember, you just need whatever weights you've got at home, a raised surface. If you don't have one, that's also fine. A stair will work. Um, and what else do we need? A mat for your knees for push-ups. That's what you want. All right, so grab a sip of water if you need it. That's the end of our warm-up. So let me quickly show you what we got for our first round. Three strength exercises. You're going at your own pace for three minutes. Everything is 10 reps, okay? So we've got squats, weight from the heels, knees behind the toes, Chest is up, okay? If you wanna hold a weight, you're welcome to. You have bent over rows, so grab something medium if you've got it. Hinging at your hips, keeping your back nice and flat, okay? Controlling on the way down. You wanna pinch those shoulder blades back behind you and control. Now you can do a high row with the elbows out or you can turn those weight palms together and do a low row, elbows in. You can switch each time, however you wanna do it. Same muscle group, just works those muscles a little bit differently. Um, horizontally or vertically in the back. And then we've got push-ups. All right, so make sure if you want that mat for your knees, you have it close by. All right, on those knees, whoop, that angle. <laughs> Bending at the elbows, pressing up. Now, um, up, or you can take it up to the toes. I definitely prefer that if you can hold that position. It's only 10 reps at a time. If you need to as well, you can also sit back. And honestly, this is something I've had to do recently with the extra weight around my midsection. Um, I also have this bench here. A step will work great if you want an incline. Um, especially rather than knees, if you have any knee issues, uh, rather than going down on your knees, it'll do the same thing. You go up on an incline and stay on your toes. All right, so those are our strength. Then our cardio, we have jumping jacks. All right, you can always take the jump out or burpees. Hands down, feet out, feet in, 
Jump. Remember, you want to get to your heels, not your toes, when you come back in. All right? So, everything is 10 reps. We're going to do three minutes of those three strength exercises. For two minutes, we'll do the two cardio. Alternating back and forth, I'll give you one minute rest. Then we're going to go cardio and strength again. Now, I'm going to very quickly raise this up because I know after a few burpees, that's going to get hard for me. So, make sure you have, if you're using that mat for push-ups or whatever, have it where you can get to it. So it's hard for me to figure out the setup in here. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? You get my timer. Three minutes on the clock. We are starting with squats. Hey, Sarah. I got two Sarahs on here. All right, 10 squats, 10 rows, 10 push-ups. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Just 10. Everything is turned up. Remember, you can add some weight to this if you want to. You might be going a little faster or slower than me. That's totally fine. Just make sure you're not racing through your reps. It's not about how many or how like quickly you get them done. It is about the quality of your reps. All right, bend over rows. 10 reps. Especially here with these weights. You want to control on the way down. Keeping that back nice and flat. Ten push-ups. Oh, push-ups are one of my least favorite exercises, but they are definitely necessary. If I can get in the right position, two. Keep that core tight. Try not to let that head drop. It's really easy to let that spine go. Keep it in line. All right, we're repeating it. If you can hold a weight, let's do it. I'm going to grab one of my weights. Not that I don't have enough hanging out around my midsection, but whew, sink down into it. Come on. We are over a minute and a half in. I'm pretty sure that was about 10. Y'all know that I lose count. But you guys are counting on your own, so it's okay. Two minutes in, one minute to go. Keep that core nice and tight. Try not to let it bounce as you pull up. Push-ups. You may or may not be with me, that's okay. There we go, that's a little bit more comfortable here. Keep that core nice and tight, come on. Woo! All right, we got a little more time, about 20 seconds for those squats. And then we are going straight to cardio for two minutes. Remember, it's 10 jumping jacks, 10 burpees for two minutes. Couple seconds. Here we go. Here's five, four, three, two, one. 10 jacks. Ten burpees. Good. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep going. I'm checking on y'all. Fixing my watch. Checking on y'all. Hey, Miss Garner. All right. You did your 10 burpees. 10 jumping jacks. All right. Remember, on those burpees, you can always do them on an incline like I have to these days. You can always step them out. Okay, instead of jump, okay, try, and it's hard for me to do right now to get to that flat plank position. Try not to leave those hips way up in the air, but do not let those hips sink past a straight line. Now this cardio, we are looking for speed, so we do want to get this all done 
as fast as we can. Good work, keep it up. You got just about 45 seconds and then we get to take a one minute break. Woo, come on. Try to keep those jumps in there if you can. This is your time to grab water, check on your kids. Just do not sit or stand still. Savannah, you good? Good girl. We got a princess crown on already. First thing this morning. Whew. All right. Got about 40 seconds. We're going to start back with the cardio and finish off again with the strength. So a little bit like a pyramid on this. Two minutes, Jackson burpees. Once again. 30 seconds for break. Just walk around, step touch, march in place. Just don't want you to stop moving and drop that heart rate too fast. Whew, I need to drop my heart rate a little more. <laughs> 15 seconds. If you were in, want to pick up where you left off, if you left off with burpees, you're welcome to do that. As long as you're doing 10 and 10. Here we go. Two minutes, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, come on. Burpees. How fast can you get them done? Probably faster than me. We got this. Come on. Ten jumping jacks. Remember, if you're going faster than me, that's fine. If you're going slower than me on those reps, that's fine. It's at your own pace today. I'm just timing you on the timer for how how long we're going. Ten and ten. We got just over a minute left here. Come on. Woo! Two minutes of cardio. Let's do this. One minute in, one minute to go. Come on. Oh! seconds. Come on. I've totally lost count. I'm going to say that's eight. Ten. Keep it going. Back to those burpees if that's where you are. Hey, on Lisa. Burpees. Come on. We got 15 seconds. Let's go. Then we're going right back to the strength. You can pick up where you left off or start right at the beginning with those squats. Either one. Three, two, one. Squats, rows, push-ups. Three minutes on the clock, 10 reps each. Your pace. Sink low, come on, dig deep into those heels. Come on, rows. Keep that core nice and tight. Don't drop that head, just like with the push-ups. It's really easy to let this happen and look down at your toes. Don't. Push-ups. One minute in, two minutes to go. Turn my fan on in here, it's hot. All right, push-ups, come on. 
If you've already finished those push-ups, get back to those squats. Don't wait for me. All right, when you're ready, hit those squats. Come on. No breaks in this time. Keep it up. <laughs> yes, it will. I am a big proponent of exercise during pregnancy, and I think that's why my delivery was what it was with my first, and hoping that's the same with my second. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely lost count. <laughs> but we got one minute left. Just keep eating that fruit, baby. Control it down. Come on. Minute and a half in, minute and a half to go. Keep that core tight, don't drop that head. Ah, oh, it's burning. All right, just over a minute to go, come on. What else can you fit in here? Can you pick up a heavier weight? All right, I said it, so I better do it, right? Stay strong, come on. Woo! Rose, come on, we got about 30 seconds. Get set first, get that position, then take that movement. Good, about 10, can you hop down and give me some push-ups? Get there if you can, come on. How many can you fit in? Five seconds. I got about three, two, one. Take that breather. All right, time for a break. Try to aim for just about a minute, but I'm gonna take a little more time to explain stuff to you. Grab some water. Y'all feeling good? It's amazing how when I look at these workouts, I'm like, this is gonna be too easy. And then we do it, it is not easy. Do not sit down like I am. All right, here's what you got. Um, let me just make sure all my stuff's out of the way. So I don't trip on anything. All right, three strength exercises. We have side lunges. So make sure you have room side to side or if you need to turn, that's fine. Side lunge, lunges, weights in the heels, knees behind toes, chest stays up, do not let it drop. All right, now if you have room to alternate, let's do that. If not, just do 10 on one side and 10 on the other. All right, I'm gonna give you guys the option if you're counting 10 on each side or 10 total. Doesn't matter to me, as long as you're moving, totally fine. Okay, then we've got upright rows. So, I'm gonna start light with these. All right, upright rows, shoulder rows, whatever you wanna call them. Get that core tight. You wanna tuck those hips, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, pull those shoulders back. And you're going to lift up to the shoulders and control slowly down. If you've only got cans in your hand, if that's all you've got for weights at home, you can still make this burn by slowing the contraction down on the way towards gravity, okay? So it's basically a shoulder shrug here. All right, and then, Tricep kickbacks. So this is where you probably do want something lighter. Hinging up those hips just like the rows, gluing those elbows to the side, pressing back. Now, if you don't have light enough weights for that, because I'll probably go down to about fives for that, or that's uncomfortable on your back or anything like that, you can take a heavier weight 
and do overhead tricep right here. Just keep those elbows glued into the side, okay? I might end up doing that just depending on how my back's feeling today. Totally up to you, okay? 10 reps. Then we have step ups and jump ups. So at that point, I'll pull this in. Step ups, any kind of step up you wanna do. All right, you can just do it straight to the middle. You can cross, get a little core work. You can kick back, get a little glute work, or you can do jump ups. Um, I might, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I wanna make sure I don't fall. But make sure if you are doing a jump up, you are jumping up and over your step, okay? You don't wanna just jump to your step because then you might clip your toes and face plant. We don't want that. So you wanna jump up and over the step, land both feet flat on top and step down, all right? Totally up to you, step ups or jump ups, okay? And then we have knee crunches. Wide feet, wide elbows, crunching in to the middle, crossing elbow and knee meet right in front of that belly button, getting that core work and getting that heart rate up. Okay, so first 10 reps, side lunges, rows, tricep kick backs, up to you on the lunges if you're doing 10 on each side or 10 total. All right, put my time over here. All right, let's get to it. Here we go, lunges in three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna do 10 on one side because I don't have a ton of room right here. Weight to the heel. We just started our first three minutes, our second three minutes. Round two, first three minutes of round two. Lock two. You are welcome to hold weights for these. Good, if you're doing the other side, go ahead and do that now. Hey Mike, hey Megan, hey Pam. All right. When you finish those lunges, you've got those upright rows. So go ahead and get to those. Don't wait on me to get there. We are working hard. This is gonna be so worth it, right? I know when I look at my, I use, I use an Apple Watch. I look at my Apple Watch after these workouts. I'm pretty much done with all of my move calories for the day. I've completed a whole circle. So, you guys motivate me. Thank you. When you finish those upright rows, you've got those tricep kickbacks or overhead tricep. Either one is fine. Glue those elbows, hinge over, 10 reps. Control. You could do these and not feel it at all. Control. We are almost two minutes in, okay? So this time through, I'm only gonna do 10 total on those lunges to save a little bit of time. But I'm still gonna do, I'm gonna do five on one side, five on the other. Sink down, come on. Then you got upright rows, try some kickbacks. Remember, you do not have to stick with me. You are welcome to pace with me if you want. We got about there are 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Let's get to those tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier this time. 15 to go. Don't race through even though we're cutting close on time. We've got cardio. Remember step ups and knee crunches or jump ups on those step ups. Here we go, three, two, one. Two minutes of cardio. Let's get those step ups, come on. a little high for me. The low is a little low and the high is a little high for me at the moment. <laughs> but I'm going to do it today. Same with these step ups. It's up to you if you do 10 total or 10 each side. You know I've lost count. <laughs> do one more on each side. A minute and a half to go on this cardio. Alright, knee crunches. It is 10 each side here. Here 
And hopefully your range of motion is bigger than mine and you are actually touching that elbow and knee in front of that belly button. If you want some glute work, press it back. One minute. crunches. Come on. You get a break in about 30. Push it till then. Come on. stand still. Step touch, march in place. Just bring that heart rate down a little. We got 60 seconds. Time to check on your kids. How you doing, baby? Your breakfast gone? Eat that sausage. Woo! All right, 40 seconds. We're going right back to cardio. Hey, Laura. All right. Remember, if you are just joining in, I will post this later um, on YouTube for you guys to use anytime. Or I believe you can rewind and start at the beginning right now if you're getting started. All right. We're in the middle of our second round of exercises. 10 seconds. You can pick up where you left off or just start with those step ups again. Totally up to you. Here we go in three, two, one. Step ups, knee crunches. Come on. Oh, I'm going to get some glutes in here. Just press that if you want it. Ten each side on those knee crunches. Come on. Thirty in. A minute and a half to go till we start strength work.
after that, you got those triceps. Ugh. I need to start putting these weights on a higher surface. Like, I don't know, my step that's right here. Less than two minutes to go. Control on the way down. It's really easy to just let them swing and honestly not use your muscles. If you can, and because I'm saying it, I might as well do it. Hold a weight for those lunges. We've got about a minute and a half to go. Sink low, come on. Weights in the heels, both toes point forward. Do not let those toes point to the side. That will turn your hip out and poss possibly call cause eventual knee issues. Ah, about 40 seconds. Come on. You got this. We're not giving up. After this, we get a break. It's the end of block two. Then we have one more block exercises. And then we're done. We got about 15. Get to those lunges if you can. Alternate if you got space so we keep it even. 10 seconds. Guess I do have enough space to alternate, but it's kind of tight. Three, two, one. Take that breather. Do not sit or stand still. Grab your water. Block two is done. We got one more. One more block. That's right. This should run about 45, 50 minutes. Perfect timing. All right. Fix your hair. Whatever you're going to do, check on your kids. Let me check on mine. How you doing, Ben? But I've taught her when I yell her name when I'm working out, she just has to say, I'm okay. So we got a system. Okay, so let's go through what we got. Um, ideally, lightweights and heavyweights, okay? But whatever you've got is fine. Hey, Cousin Kim. All right, so we got sumo squats. You can hold a weight. I like it up at the chest. You can also hold it down here. Just make sure... If you're holding a weight, there's my cat. Um, you don't let it drag your chest down, okay? Keep everything upright. Wide feet, toes out, sumo squats, okay? Right here or right here. My cat literally is trying to join us on this workout. Okay, then we have L's. If you don't have weights, you will still feel this, okay? So start with your hands right in front. You're gonna pull up to a box. Flip your arms, we're not pressing overhead. Flip them back down and back. This is about the little tiny, <clears throat> rotator muscles in your shoulder. They're itty bitty. So, um, honestly, <clears throat> I'm going to start with fives. I have twos and threes in the other room. I might just drop the fives. May run and grab those twos and threes. We'll see how it feels. All right, then deadlifts, RDLs. If you have something heavy, do it. If you don't have anything heavy, <laughs> you, can, you can do it body weight. Or if you want an extra challenge, you can do single leg. So deadlifts, weights in the heels, knees, high toes, chest is up. Lock your knees in a bent position, not locked out, okay? Let me grab some weights. We'll grab something heavier when we do it. Pushing your hips backwards, you're gonna fold forward, keeping those shoulder blades pinched back, back is flat, standing up, squeezing the hamstrings and the glutes. Get those hips to neutral. What I see a lot of people do is this. You're not getting the full contraction. You're not getting the work in the exercise. All right, if you wanna do single leg, you can also hold a weight. Um, hold the weight in the leg that is off the ground that'll help keep you square. And you're just gonna extend that leg back doesn't have to go very high and come back. That'll work a little more balanced. So if you don't have weights, let's do single leg. All right, then those are your strength, 10 reps each. You have, of course, you know we're gonna do star jumps. Little to big, little to big option. Just take the jump out, okay? And then we have quick feet on step. So if you don't have a step, that's fine. You can still do quick feet on the floor. And honestly, like I always say in class, this is a suggestion. So if you don't like or can't do or whatever any of the exercises I tell you, 
Whatever you can do works, okay? As long as you're moving. So quick feet on the step. I'll scoot this over so y'all can see a little better. All right, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down, but quick. So you want a low surface. Now, if you've only got a stair and you can't straddle your step, you can do softer taps. Um, or you can do quick feet right here, front to back, out and in, as long as you're moving, okay? That's all I care about. All right. All right, you guys got it. Grab what you need. We got sumo squats, L's, and RDL's, 10 reps each. All right, let's get to it. In three, two, one, sumo squats. If you can, hold that weight, come on. Wide feet, toes out. All right, we got those L's, so light weights or no weights. All right, do it with me this time. Let's do it together, ready? Up, flip, back, down, that was one. Up, flip, back, down. Now make sure as you do this, you're not rocking that body. Everything stays nice and tight. It's just your arms moving. Slow and controlled, that's five. Ooh. I might need to drop these weights down. It's about as heavy as I'll go on these. One more and then we've got deadlifts. Whatever heavy weights you can grab or again, if you don't have anything, you can do a body weight or you can do it single leg. All right, if you're doing it single leg, again, your choice if you do five on each side, or 10 each, but I will say if you do 10 each side, it's gonna take you a long time. We're not gonna get a lot of reps of the other exercises. About a minute and a half in, checking my timer. Ooh, I'm getting some kicks in the belly. You don't like this one right now. Oh, it's making my form a little funky. All right, we're going back to those sumo squats. Wide feet, toes out. 10 reps, remember you can stick with me or pace with me or go on your own. We got those L's coming up. Up, flip, back, down. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Every time the Mickey Mouse episode ends, can I watch another one, Mom? Yes, it's okay right now. I think that was probably about 10 <laughs> deadlifts. Remember, this is strength right here. This is not about how fast we get it done. Oh, that was actually three minutes. Let's get to our cardio. You got star jumps. Ten star jumps. My timer was right in front of me. Here we go. Two minutes on the clock. Hopefully, you guys are already done with those star jumps. I'm going to have to start taking these jumps out. They're getting uncomfortable. Let's get that up here. All right, quick feet or any other cardio drill you want. Jump rope. Totally works. Now, try to lead with one foot and the next time you do it, lead with the other. That way you're not having to alternate each time. 30 seconds in, minute and a half to go. Good, all right, come on. You guys can move faster than me, I know it. I know you can. One minute in, come on. No stopping, let's go, let's go. 
Keep pushing. Cardio here. Got less than a minute to go. These star jumps go fast. Now remember, if those quick steps are not for you, toe taps work great. The jumping at the moment is not working out for me. 30 seconds. or something in there. All right, y'all feeling good? Feel free to send me some thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> All right. Hope y'all got some killer jams. I'm really liking this playlist that I told y'all I was listening to. Latin music is great to work out to. 30 seconds. We're getting started with cardio again. Quick feet or whatever, as long as you're moving. And those star jumps. You can pick up right where you left off or Start with whatever one you want. As long as you're moving, 10 seconds. All right, I'm gonna start with those quick feet. Here we go. Two minutes on the clock in three, two, one. Let's go, but I'm doing toe taps. If you're doing toe taps, double the rep count. Star jumps, come on. How many reps can you crank out? This is about speed, because this is cardio. Sink little big, low, tall. All right, we want big movements here. If you can, punch those arms if you're doing what I'm doing. 30 seconds and we're gonna get a lot of reps and a lot of switches on this one. quickly. Well, the reps are. The time is not. <laughs> I'm tired. We are almost done with this workout though, you guys. We have four minutes left in the workout total. We'll bring it down and stretch. Come on, you got this. We are not giving up in this last 40 seconds of cardio. Come on. This is it, this is the hardest part, right? Pushing ourselves to the limit, trying to get to that almost breathless feeling, and then we'll get to the strength work. I'm gonna pick right up where I left off with those deadlifts. You can start with the sumo squats, the L's or the RDL's, or pick up right with me. 20 seconds, come on. Woo! 10 seconds, come on. Let's go, let's go. Crank it out. How many more star jumps can you fit in? Faster, harder, higher. Two, one. All right, let's go ahead as quick as you can. I've got to move some stuff. Y'all know I'm slow. I'm doing deadlifts. 10 reps, everything here. Woo! My cat has been hanging out with me ever since. Y'all got a glimpse of her. She's hanging out in the room looking at everything. Keep that head in line. All right, sumo squats and L's with those deadlifts. White feet, toes out. All right, 
little baby weights or no weights, you'll still feel it. Woo! Ay, ay, ay. breathless from that cardio. About a minute and a half to go. I think that was about seven. I'm the worst counter. That was one of the worst things when I was personal training was counting. Mostly because I had so much fun talking with my clients while they were working out. All right. Back to those deadlifts. We got one minute to go. One minute left in this workout. Come on, give it all you got. If you got something heavier, pick it up. All right, we got about 30. Come on. Good, about 15. If you can grab those weights and get to that last set, do it. 10 seconds, come on. Don't rush through, even though it's only 10 seconds. There's no need to do any extra. As long as you're controlling, you're still gonna get that work. And breathe, that's it, y'all. That's the whole workout. Now we get to chill out for a minute. Woo! All right, I can turn my music off. Man, I really like that playlist, so if you didn't listen to it with me today, um, Take a peek. Rockway runs free. Um, if you don't pay for it, it's just every 15 minutes they play like a really short ad, but kind of over the music. Not a big deal. So, all right. If we were in class, this is the time I would have you put your equipment away. So, if you need to kind of put your weights up, I'm going to do that. That's the time I would use for you to kind of cool down a little bit. So, or just march around, check on your kids, whatever you need to do. Get my weights out of the way and we can stretch. And y'all can get on with your days. Oh, I hope you had a great workout. Um, if you want to get some core, go hop on my YouTube page. There's um, a couple of core finishers. Um, I would say go ahead and do that now before you stretch. You can stretch in the new core too. That's not gonna hurt you. But we just need to make sure before you sit or lay down that you have um, brought your heart rate down enough. Oh, this helps while I'm working out, while I'm working out, but it is not that comfortable, so. Okay, let me check on my kid and we'll get stretching. How you doing, baby girl? Is that breakfast gone? Nope, not even close. <laughs> Not even close to gone. All right. Hey, Betsy, I'll be posting this later. Blakely, I'll be posting it later for you guys so you can um, do it. I'll get it posted pretty quickly if y'all want to get it done. Um, these videos download pretty fast. My other ones, like Zumba yesterday, did not. So, all right, let's get our stretch. Make sure my heart rate's still not down too much. But grab one foot behind me, pointing straight down. Keep those hips in line. Whoo, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Middle of the week. Switch sides. Do y'all even know what day it is? Honestly, there are days I'm like, I really, I really have no clue right now. So, but another day is always a blessing, right? Even if we're all stuck at home. And as hard as it can be to be stuck home with your kids sometimes, it is a blessing to have the time with them as well. And I try to remember that when I'm getting frustrated. Oh, keep holding that hamstring stretch. I just got low power. You're welcome, Sophia. Make sure you stretch, girl, if you're hopping off. Um, take the time to cherish them and the moments you have with them now that we won't always have this, which is a good thing, but it's good to have it now. Switch sides. Woo! 
flex that foot first. Glad you liked it, Gail. Definitely a good one. I've, I'm glad I found this one last night that I've done before. Point that toe down. And if you did just jump in, you can either start, uh, I think you can rewind and start at the beginning, or I will be posting it very, very shortly on YouTube. Um, I do ask that you access it there um, if you don't do it live with me on Facebook. Um, just gives me, gives me views. That's all. Getting that backside who just joined in. Hey Mara, I'll be posting it for you. Switch sides. Catch that breathing. If you, whenever you're done working out, when you're huffing and puffing, big breaths in through the mouth and out through the mouth first. You want as much oxygen as you can in your body to get recovery. Once you've got it under control, that heart rate's quite a bit lower. That's when um, you can stretch tall. Focus on in through the nose, out through the mouth, that old school that we've been taught. It's still good. Stretch tall and then open that chest up right there. Awesome, Mara. Yes, anytime. I'll be posting it as quick as I can. You can get to it. I love being able to talk to you guys live. The only problem is my screen is so small I have to get so close to read it. I try to do these on my computer rather than my phone. Um, the one time I tried, it did not work. So um, maybe I'll try it next week on my computer so I can see a little bit better. Switch sides. Oh, I hope it was worth it. I know it's definitely, how many calories are on? Woo, yeah, over 400. So, all right, where were we? Let's do, um, spread those feet a little bit, sink down, get a little twist, gentle twist. That back and pushing out on those legs from those sumo squats. Switch sides. All right, two more we'll do grab pull over to the side. If you actually give it a little tug, you'll feel it a little bit more. And then switch. One more and then we'll take a big breath and be done for the day. All right, lace those hands. You wanna round out that back. It's really hard for me to show you that right now because I get a big bubble on the front side of me. Big breath in through that nose to the top. Hold it there for two, three. Control it to the bottom. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you had a great workout. Um, I'll be back here next week. Um, Tuesday, 9 a.m. We'll do a Zoom call for Zumba. And then um, Wednesday at 9 as well for HIT. So look forward to seeing y'all then. Have a great day. Bye.